yeah. I know I'm not like performing to you, but we're gonna <laughs> we are gonna open up into a circle. Okay. Okay. So we are here today at the Waller County Jail. Um, Sandra Bland was arrested at 4.30 at the um, at Hope AME outside the gates of Prairie View A&M. And we are here today to celebrate communion. We have witnessed a great deal of violence in our community this past um, this past week, we have witnessed that the lack of police accountability is a danger not only to black lives, but to the police themselves. Because when police are not being held accountable in our country and our culture, it puts other officers at risk um, as well. So we are here together to stand together to once again on this day of, um, of Sandra's arrest. She was arrested on July 10th, 2015. This is July 10th, 2016. We are here to celebrate the first of what will be um, six communions uh, at 8 a.m. tomorrow, 8 p.m., 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Tuesday, and 8 a.m. on Wednesday, the morning that she was found. So uh, we will be here in presence until the time of Sandra's death. And so f thank you for being here with us as we celebrate this first communion. Um, for those of you who are uh, who are people of faith, we invite you, all, all are invited to the table. Um, and for those of you who um, would like to be in support of us as we share communion, thank you for being here with us. So, Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Can I read it with me? Merciful God, we confess, we confess that, that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. We have not heard the cry. We want that to be heard, especially by white Christians in America. We have not heard the cry, and it is time to hear the cry. Forgive, Forgive us, us, we pray. pray. Free, Free us for, for joyful, joyful obedience. obedience. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. And we all may take a moment to confess the things that we carry with us. Here are the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Friends, let us offer to one another signs of peace and reconciliation and justice as well. Uh, so please greet your, your friends and neighbors um, with signs of peace, love, and ju justice. Hey, love. So Marissa is going to help me with the communal part. If uh, it, that's the part in bold, if you know it, say it. Uh, if you don't, uh, just speak it in your heart with her. So thank you. You read the bold part, okay. okay? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right we give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and we join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you. This cup of blood spilled. We have seen so much blood spilled. And our brothers and sisters' blood cries out to us from the ground, as the scriptures say. And we have just confessed that we have not heard that cry, but we intend to start. He gave thanks and said to his disciples, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice. We offer ourselves, our lives, our obedience, our actions, our courage to you as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world, the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, if you know the Lord's Prayer, I invite you to join with me in saying it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is the body of Christ, broken for you, a holy sacrifice, a body broken that we might not break any more bodies, a body broken that it may be the source of our healing, a body broken that we might remember that we are one body, united. This is the cup of salvation a cup of blood spilt so that we would spill no more blood, so that we would be a people of courage and truth and compassion, and above all, as well, justice. For if we worship a God of justice, then in imitating our God of justice and making this to be a just place, a just world, if we make this world reflect the justice of our God, then that is our act of worship. So to all of you who are out there working for justice, thank you for your act of worship. We're now going to share, um, if, you would, if you would like to um, If you would not like to partake because you have a gluten allergy or because uh, you're not comfortable, then just put your hands across your chest like this and you will receive a blessing instead. So we're going to go around the circle. And when it comes to you, if, you don't, if you'd like to receive a blessing instead, just, just cross your arms across your chest. Um, so. Rayla, this is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. This is the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. It's 
Christ is the body of Christ, the bread of cup, heaven, the cup of Christ, the cup of salvation. I'm going to do the intention so people can see how. Mm -hmm. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Desmond, this is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Stephanie, this is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. You can do it for me. Absolutely. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the cup of salvation, the blood of Christ. Amen. Thank you. If you can take this. We have shared from one loaf because we are one body. We have the courage to stand here today together. We have the courage to say that black lives matter. We have the courage to say that it is not inconsistent to say that black lives matter and that the lives of those officers in Dallas mattered. We can grieve Sandra Bland. We can grieve Alton Sterling. We can grieve Philando Castile, and we can grieve the officer shot in Dallas. For the next three nights and two days, we will grieve Sandra Bland at this place. If you would like to partake of communion, we plan to be having communion at this place at 8 a.m. in the morning tomorrow, at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, and continuing on until the time of her death on Wednesday morning. If you'd like to join us or bring us cold water or anything else, we would greatly appreciate that. Now is the time, this is the place, and we stand here together. If you're wondering whether you should come, you should. If you're wanting to stand for justice, if you're wanting to say that it is not inconsistent to say black lives matter and that other lives matter as well, but that we are uncompromising, then you're welcome to join us in peace here at this place as we send a message over the next three nights and two days. As we make sure that the voice of Sandra Bland is heard, in this community, and as we make sure that she knows, Sandy, we still hear you, and we shall not be moved. Paul from Carla Foster. 
If anyone has anything they'd like to say um, as we close for now. I'll tell you why I'm here personally. Thank you. Um, as I said over at the site of Sandra Bland's arrest, I'm here because my father told me a long time ago that life is about making decisions and being satisfied with the decisions that you make. And in these protests, in these hard times, in these moments of injustice, when I come out and I speak out against it, I understand that I'm risking my life. However, I would risk my life as soon as I walk outside my door. You could die any day, any time. And so if I die tomorrow, tell them I love my life as much as I love my blackness, and you cannot separate me from either. I'm here, Sandra was here, she spoke, I am speaking. There is injustice, that's why I'm here. And I hope that you join us. Would anybody else like to share? Sandy still speaks. Sandy still speaks. Sandy still speaks. Sandy still speaks. No thanks. <laughs> Sandy still speaks. I'd like to encourage everybody who is not able to make it out today to, um, to give Sandra an ear, to listen to her as she speaks. She has videos all over YouTube and you need to watch every single one of them and listen to the messages that she shares because they're very important. So before, um, before we close, would you mind doing your poem again, Steffi, that you did? Absolutely. Okay. We're going to have, uh, Steffi's going to, Steffi's going to do an amazing poem that she has written this week um, before we close here. Um, okay. Forgive me for reading, but I was a little overwhelmed. Um, I wrote this poem started writing this poem the night Alton Sterling died, and I continue writing this poem the night Philando Castile died. It's called In the Morning. Tonight they snuffed out the light in his eyes. Tomorrow they will draw black circles beneath them, give him claws instead of hands that clasp in prayer at night. They will resurrect every evil from his birth to his end, and we will put a pound sign in front of his name. Hash out our helplessness online. Reach through the world wide web for a hand to hold while we grieve, because in the morning we are worshiping a criminal. They'll find a mugshot, the most unflattering angle for the story. The headline will be clickbait for those who only attend proper funerals. The comment section, a commentary on just how free we are to spew hatred and ignorance. They have always hidden behind the keys, locked us away until they figured out how to make us chain ourselves. We may be flawed, the result of strategies by lynch or lynchings or the lawmakers, but we are not blind. Justice is not blind. There are no scales like there is no serenity. No wisdom would make this different. No courage would change the story. In the morning, he'll be a nefarious nigger who deserved exactly what he got. America frees you from your body, your family, your joy, your grace. And any peacock proud patriot will tell you these colors don't run. Doesn't matter if we do. No man is faster than a speeding bullet. The grief is all consuming. It feels like being told to fly and then being pigeonholed. Tonight he is full of holes. Part of me wants to collapse into tears for the soul gone too soon. Part of me wants to strike until the whole world is ablaze with the fire in my chest. Part of me wants to tweet through it, but another part of me knows there is no through. We are not done. Before we are all six feet beneath our blackness, there is a fresh corpse with no headstone. Even the reaper is growing tired. All of me knows the world keeps spinning even when you are paralyzed. Rotating on an axis is a parlor trick because moving targets are more fun. In the morning they will have enough dirt to bury him. We'll have raked through his skeletons, checked his pockets before his pulse, planted evidence on the scene, chalk outlined his character. Tonight they will vilify him because if they don't do it while the world's asleep, we might wake up in the morning. Thank you. And of course, um, if you want to stay here with me, Steffi, um, the, um, and what's your website? 
SteffiB.com, S-T-E-P-H-E, the letter B, dot com. We got we to gotta support these voices, folks. Um, and so, of course, our intention here is to make sure that this community knows that the whole world knows that Sandy still speaks. So, of course, we're going to finish with her own voice. Um, I'm going to ask you to help me with that. Yes. It's time, y'all. It's time. It's This thing that I'm holding in my hand, this telephone, this camera, it is quite powerful. Um, social media is powerful. We can do something with this. If we want to change, we can really, truly make it happen. You know, we sit out here and talk about, oh, we need the next so-and-so and this and that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Start in your own home. Start with you. You start being that person to want to make that change. So it's funny. I might, um, whoever is watching this, you might hear the, I'm probably going to get a few of the, the Michael Jackson, oh, I want to make that change comment. But laugh all you want to. Say what you want. Um, but I'm here to change history. I am ready to do what I need to do for this next generation. It's time. It's time for me to do what the. Um, it's time for me to do God's work at the end of the day, um, because He and and I know everybody don't believe in God, which is fine, but I want you to know, on Sandy speaks. I'm going to talk about God because for me, He has truly opened my eyes and shown me that there is. There's something out there that we can do. We can stop sitting around and just saying, oh, well, maybe next time. Or, oh, well, we knew that was going to happen. It's time to stop knowing that that was going to happen. And it's time to start doing something. So, I'm going to go to bed. But I just want everybody who watches this to know that... I truly thank God for you. I thank God for you taking your time um, to watch this video. And I'd like to plant the seed in in you. Um, there will be more of these to come. There will be more Sandy Speaks. And I want y'all's feedback. I need, I need you. I need y'all's help. You know, I can't do this by myself. I need you. Sandy still speaks. Sandy still speaks.